Windows 11, but it looks exactly like macOS. Why? Well, because sometimes you just want the macOS vibes without, you know, selling your kidney. Before we jump in, do me a quick favor, like this video to keep the algorithm happy and subscribe so you don't miss more ways to give your PC an identity crisis. With that said, let's get into it. Now, the first thing we are going to install is Mac OS Dock on Windows 11. First of all, go to this link. I will put this link in the video description down below. And once you are here on this website, you guys can just click here on download. Now navigate to your downloads folder, click on downloads and then double left click on Windhoc setup file. If for example, you don't see .exe like I do here, click on view and then under here, click on show and make sure that you enable file name extensions. Here we go. You have right now .exe at the end of the Windhoc setup file. Now just install Windhoc as you would any other program. Just follow the instructions. By the way, guys, if you need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description below. Now, once you have Windhoc up and running on the first page of it, you guys will here see featured mods. Here, what I highly recommend to get that macOS doc on Windows 11 is to go here and click on Windows 11 taskbar styler. Just click on details here and then on top you will find an install button. Just click on it and this should install this mod on your computer. Of course, you will get here proceed with care notification, but just click here, accept risk and install and just wait for it to install on your computer. Now, once you have this mod installed, make sure that you navigate here to the settings and down below, you will find a theme option. Now here, click on none and from the drop down menu, select here dock like. Now click here to save settings. And now you guys can see that we already have this dock like taskbar on Windows 11. And then here on the right, we can also see that we have this system tray icons at the bottom right. Now, unfortunately, with this mod, you aren't able to hide them. So we are going to go back here, click on the explore page on top. And here on top, make sure that you search for system tray. Now you will find this modification, taskbar tray system icon tweaks, click on details and make sure that you install it on your computer. Now, once you have this mod installed, make sure that you navigate to the settings here. Down below, make sure that you toggle every single option to on. So hide volume icons, hide network icon, hide battery icon, hide microphone icon, hide location hide language bar and also hide language supplementary icons. And down below, you also have an option hide bell icon. Click on this and it should open a drop down. and here click on always. Now with this all selected, you guys can click on save settings and every single system tray icon should hide. Of course, you guys can see that we have the time here. So to fix that, navigate to the system settings, go to time and language and here click on date and time. Now down below, we will find an option show time and date in the system tray. Make sure that you toggle this option on. And now we are only left with this arrow. Of course, if you want to hide the weather icon as well, just go here under the personalization, go to the taskbar and make sure that you toggle this widgets option to off. So you now successfully hidden the weather icon inside the taskbar as well. And now you guys can also go here down below, click on taskbar behaviors and enable this option option. So automatically hide the taskbar. Right now, let's install a few of the widgets which resemble macOS style. So here, make sure that you search for the rain meter and then here, click on download button to get the installer for the rain meter. Now, before you install rain meter on your computer, make sure that you search for Monterey rain meter widgets. Click on the first link. I will also put this link in the video description down below for this GitHub page. Now, once you are here, click on the releases and here, make sure that you click on this .rm skin file. Now, once you have it, go here on top to search for another skin, which is called Drop Top 4. Click here on download. And here you guys have two options. I will get the free version and then click here on I have it already. Now, once you downloaded both of the skins, go to your downloads folder inside the file explorer. And here, double left click on the Ray Meter installer and install it. So with the Ray Meter, you should see a few of the pre-installed skins. Just 
just right click on every single one of them and click on unload skin. So just like this, then navigate back to your downloads folder and double left click on the Monterey rain meter skin and here click on install. Now, once you have installed this skin, just click on clock to toggle it on calendar. And then we can also add the monitoring widget as well. Now to change the color of the widgets, go here under the appearance and here I will select the color. However, you guys can also pick whatever you like. Now with these widgets on top left corner, I will just position them somewhere where I would like to have them. For example, somewhere like this. And if you want, you guys can also change the size of the widget. So if you want to, let's say, change the date widget here, right click on it and then change here to, for example, wide, or even you guys can click here on large. And this is what the large widget actually looks like. I'll go with the wide version for the date widget here. Now, if you see the icons here on your desktop, like the recycle bin here and the wind hog, you guys can also hide them by right clicking on the desktop, click on view, and then make sure that you uncheck this option, show desktop icons. Let's install another widget, which is called drop top basic. So just double left click on it and install it. Now here on the installer for drop top, you have three options to pick from always show drop top auto hide or desktop only here. I will click on desktop only here. I will select for this device as desktop. Then you guys can also here enter the weather location. I will just type in here, London, and let's click continue. And for the starting theme, I will go with the Mac OS Sequoia and I'll click on finish setup. Now with this menu bar installed, you guys can see it here on top. Click on the left on four here and make sure to change the home icon to something else. Let's go here to product logos and you guys can change it to whatever you like. I will go with this Windows 11 logo and then make sure also that you enable monochrome icon. I will also enable this as well. Go here to adjust size setting and here I will click on mini two and then go here under the shape options and disable rounded monitor corners as well as rounded menu corners and also rounded top bar corners with all this done you guys can go here, click on the restart rain meter and then click on the restart rain meter now. And right now let's install macOS cursor on our Windows 11. So here on Google, just search for macOS cursor windows and then here click on this GitHub page. I will also put this GitHub page in the video description down below, right below the like button. And if you guys haven't already, make sure that you smash up the subscribe button as well. Now click here under the releases and click here to source code.zip and you guys should get this zip file, then navigate here to your downloads folder. Inside here, make sure that you have this zip file selected. And then here on top, click on extract all. And then here, click on extract. Now inside this extracted folder, you can go inside and here you have two versions, El Capitan and before, and also Sierra and newer. I will go with this one. And then here you have two options with shadow or no shadow. I will go without a shadow. And then here you also have three options. I will go with just normal option. And then and inside this folder, you will find this file install.inf. Make sure that you right click on it and then here click on the install and click on open. And I'll just wait for it to install. Now, if you get this message installation failed, you will have to install this cursor pack manually. So how can you do that? Go inside the start menu, search for the mouse. And here down below, you'll find this option, change the mouse pointer display or speed. Now go here under the pointers. And now you will have to replace every single pointer here with the one inside this folder. So for example, with normal select, you guys will install this normal one. And now as you replace them, like I did right here, you guys can click on save as, and let's save this as Mac OS, click on OK here, and then down below, click on apply. And you guys can see here that I have here brand new cursor. The one thing left to do is to change the wallpapers. So I found really cool wallpaper and this is this one from wallpaperflare.com. I will also put this link in the video description down below. And of course, you guys are also welcome to check out the link in the video description down below for my wallpaper pack as well. Now, once on this page, just click on download original wallpaper and then click on download wallpaper, then go inside your downloads folder. And here you should see this image. Now you guys can double left click on it to open it. And here click on three dots here, select set as and select here lock screen. And then make sure that you repeat this and select here background. And now we are pretty much done. We have this menu bar inspired by Mac OS. We have this widgets here on the top left corner. And we also have this Mac OS doc style taskbar on Windows 11, which I think looks pretty 
pretty cool. Now, with that said, I will leave every single tool mentioned in this video linked below in the video description. And while you are down there, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you, of course, haven't already. And I will see you all around in the next one.